<laughs> Big days arrived. We're uh, getting ready to name America's top uh, states for business. You know the uh, issues. You've heard the hints. How do you think you did? Scott Cohn is back from the mystery uh, top state uh, to narrow this down. I've been doing a lot of heavy lifting for you, Scott. That's all I've been uh, talking about. I, I know you appreciate it. A lot of people now are telling me it, it is Michigan. I don't know. It's that big house a clue. Is Michigan been making some strides? In I know Detroit is on a great comeback path, hopefully. There's, there's, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on in Michigan. You're going to be able to see this whole study when we, when we reveal the top okay. state in the next hour. And I appreciate all that heavy lifting, Joe. It's been, I'm, I'm glad I didn't have to be on with you during all that and, and test my poker face a little bit more than I already I do. But I'm totally channeling it. you the whole, the whole morning. I'm not, I haven't bet on it. You know, Melissa acts like it's all about like betting. It's not. I just think it's. I like your clues. That's why you do them. You figured you've perfected this. <laughs> we, 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 we try, uh, Joe. And, and there is, uh, again, there's a serious study behind this. We put all the states through 86 metrics in 10 categories of competitiveness, and we are about to narrow it down. For the 16th year, let the countdown begin. State number five, Minnesota, the North Star State. Great roads are part of a solid infrastructure. A growing presence in the semiconductor industry wins points for technology and innovation. But with high taxes and low incentives, Minnesota is an expensive place to do business. Number four, Georgia, the Peach State. The home of the world's busiest airport has America's best infrastructure. Solid state finances and a healthy housing market contribute to one of America's best economies. But with poor health care and limited worker protections, Georgia does poorly for life, health, and inclusion. State number three, Tennessee, the volunteer state, a near ideal location. 107 million people within a day's drive helps give it high marks for infrastructure and one of the nation's best community college systems puts Tennessee in the top five for education. But with high crime and a crackdown on LGBTQ rights, Tennessee finishes 43rd for life, health, and inclusion. Our 2023 runner-up, Virginia, the Old Dominion, with solid support for its great universities, it's America's top education system and a leader in access to capital. Virginia is our most decorated state, a five-time winner, but you'll pay dearly to do business here. One reason Virginia comes up just short this year. So there you go. That's five, four, three, and two. We rank all 50 states. Where am I? The top state for business. We will tell you with our big reveal next hour. We'll talk with this state's governor and tell you why it is America's top state for business. Guys? When you, when you were at three, I was cheering for number two to be Virginia, because if North Carolina is not in the top five, the last two are either going to be Virginia and North Carolina. And when you said Virginia, I, I basically burst out I, I in happiness. Screamed. Uh, I don't know why. Why am I um, so invested in this? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You got you wheeled me we, in. We do Cone. it for you, Joe. Every year. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean that. It, it's it's just, it, and yet it never gets old for me. That's what's kind of sad. Uh, how many years is this now? This is, this is, we actually, we started in 2007. We didn't uh, publish our list in 2020 because of the pandemic. So, right. um, so we've done but it 17 still... years, but this is the 16th wow. that we've done. <laughs> and it never, never maybe, gets old. Maybe, because it doesn't, I'm get, old. It doesn't get old for me either, obviously. I forget last year. Maybe that's it. It's like all <laughs> new for me. Needed. It's like, hey, I can read books again, see movies a couple of times. Um, that's awesome, though, Scott. Great. And I think, I think we're going to get that. And we'll see you in an hour. I, I have a pretty good idea. Dom Chu thinks he knows, uh, and he tweeted it out. Uh, and and uh -oh. it'll be convenient for North Carolina, if it is North Carolina, because they can just leave the sign up. Actually, I'll bet they put a new sign that says 20, uh, like 21 and 2023. I'll bet yeah, you they'd put that definitely. up. I'll bet you they put that up. And I, I will check. You can ask the governor. Well, I drive down all, all the time. Next hour. I, I, I know where, like, Lana Turner lives or Rita Hayworth. She's from some town in North Carolina. Scott? Thank you. Good clues. Yeah. We'll, see you. Okay. we'll see you. What time? Eight? Uh... Uh, next hour. The, the next what hour. Time? I think about 8.15. Should be at 8.15. Okay. Thank you.